Our latest project, which featured a wine cellar, tasting area, bathroom vanities, and kitchenette, uh, was recently completed about two months ago. It features a black slate floor, which you can see here, a nice tasting table. Everything was built in our shop. Uh, they wanted a, a very contemporary, clean-lined wine cellar, as well as vanity area in the bathroom and also in the kitchenette. Uh, you can see we brought some metal rods in here. Uh, get another close-up of those. The wine cellar itself came out to just under 2,000 bottles. Uh, you can see the clean lines in here. It looks very, very nice. To go with the overall aesthetic of the basement, which was very open and very clean, you can see here you enter from the upstairs into the basement. There's a bathroom that's situated just across from uh, the staircase. Here's the cabinets that we built. Uh, very contemporary, very clean lines. You'll see the kitchenette that we also designed and built. Uh, again, very clean lines, and it kind of goes with the overall feel of the basement. There's two different entranceways into the basement. There's a traditional door here as you enter into the basement. Uh, we brought a, a metal wine rack outside for the tasting area as well. Uh, here's another shot of the basement that we started off with. So there's one entranceway here, a second entranceway here. It started with these CADs, uh, which you can see from the bottle count, came out to about 1,930 bottles. When we, we, when we design these, we can get a pretty good overall assessment of exactly how many bottles the client's going to have. We, can, we, we show the breakdowns between 750s, diamond bins, wood cases, quarter rounds, horizontal displays for magnums if a customer uh, asks for something specific. Uh, and as you go through some of these photos, you'll see just exact how these designs are. This is the overall wine cellar. The only thing we did was we added a door here, made these double doors. Um, and we changed the table from a square to a round top. You can see the kitchenette. And as we get back into the photo, you can see just exact you know, how these CADs come out. Um, there's a nice shot of the space of the wine cellar. And again, just a, a nice, open, clean feel. You know, a tasting area, cooling system, um, which is a ductless split in this case, ultra quiet. It's housed in their mechanical room in the basement. Um, and it really just gives a good overall idea of what you can do if you have the space having this tasting room here, having this wine cellar and a tasting room just outside and then being able to install a kitchenette you know just outside of that so that when you are entertaining you can have things like a wine cooler if you want something in there for white wines besides the area inside the wine cellar you can have an ice maker Dishwashers are huge because you're able to entertain here at the table and be able to walk right into the kitchenette and be able to wash your glasses and not having to go up and down. Small fridges are also great because you can bring cheeses and, and meats and things like that that you want to be able to put out that are probably just on a, a tasting menu. Uh, but again, like I said, our our webpage at josephandcurtis.com has a, has a custom wine cellar design tab that you can get to just by getting onto the home page, clicking under custom wine cellars and hitting right here at wine cellar design. Once you're in that space, you're able to tell us exactly what you're looking for, both in width, length, height, anything specific that you want to be able to reach out to us in a message. You can again see here how the CAD design works and what it turns out to be. So please contact us at josephandcurtis.com. Thank you.